हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस प्रोफेसर एस एस काले फ्रॉम ऑर्किड कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अ कार्बोरेटर हाउ इट वर्क्स व्हाट इज इट्स फंक्शन एंड व्हाट इट डज एक्चुअली फॉर इंजन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सो वी नो दैट द इंजन रिक्वायर्ड एयर पस्ट फ्यूल मिक्सचर स्पेसिफिकली पेट्रोल इंजन रिक्वायर्ड एयर पस्ट फ्यूल मिक्सचर and that air plus fuel mixture is sucked inside the engine in intake stroke and that will be burn so it is very necessary to provide air plus fuel mixture to the si engine so the process of preparing the process of preparing this air plus fuel mixture is called as a carb here we can see the definition of carburetion Now before going to the carburetor, we have to learn about what is carburetion. The carburetion is a process of creating a mixture of air and fuel before supplying to a SI engine. So uh, this is the process. Carburetion is a process of creating air plus fuel mixture. Whereas a carburetor is a device which is used for preparing air plus fuel mixture. So carburetor is a device and carburetion is the process. now uh, i am showing here the simple figure of carburetor there are two figure actually a simple carburetor and complete carburetor so let us see what is meant by a simple carburetor first here you can see that the simple diagram line diagram of the carburetor here this side this is actually tube you can see this and this part is actually tube and this this particular tube opening is open to the air and this tube opening is connected to the intake manifold of the engine so this is going to the intake manifold of the engine inside a tube we are having a cross section and for this particular part this particular part we are having varying cross section so the air will be entering here and it's moving to the engine from this side here we can see that the area goes on reduces first and then it goes on increases so it's kind of the venturi shape provided then next this is a throttle valve this throttle valve is directly connected to the accelerator of the vehicle so when we apply an accelerator this throttle valve will be get open in the direction of arrow you can see that arrow is there and in the direction of arrow it will be get open and when throttle valve uh, or accelerator gets uh, released then it get closed so the arrangement is made that when we release accelerator this throttle valve doesn't get closed completely there is a some opening is provided here and here some small opening is provided here and here so this is actually called as carburetor tube what we have seen to the carburetor tube another part is connected this particular part is called as float chamber this float chamber has supply from fuel tank so fuel tank will be connected here and the fuel will be coming from this so this this pipeline is connected to fuel tank and float chamber another pipeline is going and it's opening at the throat of the venturi so this this particular part is called as venturi so it opens at the throat of the venturi so this chamber has one uh, fuel is coming from fuel tank and this another pipeline which is going and open at the venturi one more small hole is provided here and that is what called as air vent to have a uh, pressure inside a chamber equal to the atmospheric pressure this particular portion is called as a float of the carburetor now how it is constructed float float may be generally made up of plastic or copper part and this float has air inside that so because of that the float will be always floating over the uh, fuel petrol generally and this float has a needle wall at the top so this needle wall is at the top and needle wall shape is such a way that it can close the supply of fuel at the same time it can open the supply of fuel so when float moves upwards at direction then the fuel supply will get closed and when it moves on down side direction fuel supply will get open so opening and closing of the fuel supply will be controlled by the needle wall and float okay now in this case uh, we have seen a detailed construction of this now we'll go for a working how actually it works as i told you already that this part is connected to the engine intake manifold and in the suction stroke the engine will suck the air which is present in the tube so air will start moving in this direction 
when air is moving in this direction we know that there is a venturi principle applied here means what when air is moving in this direction and when it moves to the reduced cross section when it is going through the reduced cross section what happen is kinetic energy get converted into pressure energy so at this section there will be a uh, high kinetic energy uh, uh, at this section there will be high pressure energy and at this section there will be a high kinetic energy so in the process from this point to this point what happen is pressure energy get converted into kinetic energy so if you check velocity of air at this zone it will be very high compared to velocity of air at this zone so as velocity is very high pressure will be very less so vacuum will be produced vacuum will be present there and then that air will be going to the intake manifold now as i told you the vacuum is present here this vacuum is applied to the fuel which is present in the float chamber here you have to remember one thing that level of fuel in this particular tube it will be below the venturi throat so you can see that this point to this point this is the distance through which a uh, distance maintained below the throat here uh, this distance will be maintained by this float so when a fuel is coming more then what will happen float will be moving up and it will close this chamber and as it get close as it cl get close the fuel supply then what happen the fuel will not come and as fuel is not coming the fuel level will not increase and hence the fuel level will maintain when the fuel level goes drop uh, moves downside direction then what will happen this needle wall also moves downside direction and as the needle wall moves down the fuel will be coming increases level but the level of fuel cannot go above this or cannot go above this so that level will be maintained constantly now when air is flowing then the uh, here vacuum is generated because of vacuum what will happen this fuel will get lifted from this point to this point and as fuel get lifted and it will come out of this when fuel comes out of this the already air is flowing around this and that fuel will be mixed with the air and the air which is present in this particular zone it will have it will have the fuel particle present into that so here we'll have air plus fuel and that air plus fuel it will go to the uh, combustion chamber and then there will be get burned now here what happened the actually engine temperature is high because the uh, engine may be running for a longer period so engine temperature is high hence intake manifold temperature is high when air plus fuel mixture goes to the intake manifold the fuel which is present in the liquid form that will get vaporized and vapor petrol will get mixed with the air properly in a better way because a liquid petrol cannot mix uh, properly whereas a vapor petrol can mix very easily so the conversion of liquid to vapor will happen into intake manifold because of its temperature and already we know that the petrol is a volatile matter and as it is volatile matter it can be immediately get converted into the vapor and that vapor will be get mixed with the air and that air will be moving forward and it will get burn so when this fuel get lifted up the level of fuel goes on dropping and as level of fuel goes on dropping here also level of fuel goes on dropping and the float will also moving down when float moves down needle wall also moves down as needle wall moves down the fuel will come inside and as fuel will come inside the level of fuel goes on increases and as level of fuel goes on increases the float also moves upward side direction closing the needle wall so by this mechanism we can maintain one constant level of fuel one constant level of fuel in the float chamber at the same time inside this particular tube now what this air vent does air vent actually maintain a constant pressure on the fuel level so here is a fuel level on the fuel level we require a constant pressure actually that constant pressure is atmospheric pressure we require so the atmospheric pressure will be maintained in this particular zone because of air vent when the float moves down and if we don't provide a air vent then what will happen here the space will increase and as space will increase the vacuum will be generated vacuum means at pressure below atmospheric and if pressure below atmospheric is maintained here and here also pressure below atmosphere so fuel will not move properly to the carburetor tube so in order to maintain a uh, atmospheric pressure on the fuel level what we have to provide is the air vent now in this case what happen how we can control the amount of fuel
coming out of this tube that can be controlled by controlling the amount of air flowing through this tube. And who is going to control the amount of air flowing through this tube? That is a throttle valve. When we open more throttle valve, how we can open more throttle valve? Because we know that the throttle valve is connected to the accelerator. When we apply an accelerator, this will get open, more air will flow in. If more air is flowing, lesser and lesser pressure is generated here and very less pressure means more amount of fuel will be removed from this more amount of fuel will be mixed with the air and that air will be going with more fuel now when we go for closing this throttle wall if you close this the amount of air flowing will also goes on reducing and if amount of fuel, air going from this is get reduced the pressure drop here we will not get too much and as pressure drop is not high the amount of fuel coming outside will be also less and we will supply very less amount of fuel so there is one term the term is called as uh, air fuel ratio in the air fuel ratio if fuel is more then it is called as rich mixture and in the mixture if fuel is less then it is called as lean mixture so there are two type of mixture lean mixture rich mixture when we say rich mixture rich mixture is rich by fuel lean mixture is lean by fuel there is one more air fuel ratio that is what called a stoichiometric air fuel ratio now what is stoichiometric air fuel ratio stoichiometric air fuel ratio is a chemically correct air fuel ratio chemically correct means what exact amount of air is available which is required for the burning of the fuel that is what called as stoichiometric air fuel ratio generally it is observed that by this particular carburetor when we go for opening more and more throttle wall this supply rich mixture because of more pressure drop and when we go for closing this throttle wall, then this carburetor supply lean mixture. Lean mixture. So we can say when the throttle wall is almost closed, lean mixture is supply. When throttle wall is almost open, rich mixture is supply. So as we go on opening the throttle wall, the mixture moves from lean to rich. And richness will go on, increases, increases, increases. So now we have understood that how this simple carburetor works. Initially we have seen what is construction and then we have seen working of this and finally we have seen that what is air fill ratio, what are the types of air fill ratio and how this simple carburetor will supply the air fill ratio. As I told you initially it will supply lean mixture, initially means what when throttle wall is closed and when we go on opening the throttle wall it will go on reaching the mixture. Okay, thank you. Now let us see one of the video in which the concept of carburetor got cleared more and more. Let us see the video. This video we have taken from an YouTube. Before playing the video, uh, I want to introduce you what are the various point, what are the various part we have used. In the previous uh, figure or previous uh, explanation, I have told you that this will be a carburetor tube, this will be a carburetor tube, this is the venturi part, this is the venturi part, this is the float chamber, this is the float, this is the needle one, this is the air vent and this is the tube which is opening to the uh, carburetor tube. Now, in this case, the air is coming from top, whatever we have seen previous figure, previous uh, presentation, the air was coming from bottom and it was going to the top. Uh, engine but in this particular video what they have shown is air is coming from top and this side it is connected to the uh, engine now you can see that here here uh, air is coming from top that white color particle we can see air is coming and when air is coming here there is a vacuum generated vacuum generated and because of vacuum the petrol is coming outside that petrol with the yellow particle it is mixing with the air and the air is moving on downside action when petrol is coming on this side here what happened the level of fuel drops as level of fuel drops the float moves down as float moves down we can see that the petrol is coming increasing level and increasing level and maintaining the level so float here it's continuously moving up and down and because of moving up and down movement the level of fuel is maintained so here this video uh, clears conceptually how it works